I know it's bad, but wow. I just came across a job for a corporate wellness specialist, they actually listed the pay thank you but they want to pay the person $37,000 a year, and the person has to work 4.30 a.m. 6 p.m. They require a bachelor's degree and two professional certifications. It's just unbelievable that companies are able to get away with this. I made $40,000 a year bartending. The fact that they want you to have a bachelor, certificates, and work 80 hours for less than what I made working part-time as a bartender is madness. LOL corporate wellness specialist who can't possibly be well themselves. Delusional. That's roughly $10.50 an hour, where is this? McDonald's pays much more and no degree required. Working that much you don't need a lot of money. When would you spend it? 34.5k is around the federal minimum for salaried non-exempt employees, so you'll find a lot of jobs in the 35 to 40 range are basically set up so that you can be paid less than you would if you were doing the same job at a reasonable hourly rate and making over time. It's like the very worst of professional jobs in that pay cohort. I applied for the position at my current work that would be full-time what I already do one two days a week contract. Same thing $35.48k depending on experience. I was denied. Because I don't have a degree. The position has been empty for months now, me and another person come in and pick up the slack every week. I'm literally already doing it. But I have no experience. It infuriates me to no end. Even if I got paid the low end of the scale, I'd still make 10k more year because my official job with them pays so little. I fucking hate it. Corporations can suck my ass. I'm starting to see a trend where any position involving QAQC or regulations always gets a shit salary. Seems like the corporations are paying them all lack thereof to go away so they can break the rules. I used to be a software QA analyst, and the client was always pushy with us. Luckily, they were paying us the consulting company, so we could move the deadline if they weren't cooperating. On a related note, one of my favorite games QA team unionized because they were being treated so poorly. Just my observation. See all these employers seem to assume people don't have to pay rent or pay for anything lol. I'd have to imagine they don't care much about wellness if they're paying their wellness specialist that little. They don't want to be cheap to the wellness specialist, they want to use the wellness specialist as proof of concept so that they can go ahead and be that cheap to everyone else in the company. It's a fake job that they are forced to create to be in compliance. That's why they are offering fake wages. This is probably a fake job posting. Companies do this to make it look like they're hiring. What the fuck is a corporate wellness specialist going to do for 70 hours a week? Also nobody serious is offering less than 55k 60k if they're requiring a degree. Nobody that wants to retain an employee longer than 6 months at least. I don't know if they are getting away with it. Job seekers have much higher expectations and are more savvy now. Especially if they do their research and learn that a hospital EVS tech housekeeper in CEA gets paid $50,000 a year, working 8 hours a day, 5 days a week, with benefits and retirement. It depends where you live and what's available and expected, but I know that I would prefer being an EVS tech to being in a more respected field. That pays ludicrous with those expectations. Any corporate wellness specialist who agrees to those hours has disqualified themselves from the job. I made $36,000 in 1985 as an office worker. Not adjusted for inflation. They probably already have an internal hire, and don't actually intend to interview anyone. The posting is probably to satisfy a requirement that any openings be made public. That's what I make as a teacher who teaches 7 classes in middle school. Really sucks that I can't afford to move out at 31. What's troubling me more is seeing all these job titles that mean little to me. They want you to work for 13.5 hours a day? Are you only working 3 days a week? I love it. 
Advertising for an unwell wellness specialist. SMH. At least they listed the terrible pay so that no one will ever apply for that job. They aren't going to get away with that. That job posting is designed for to be filled. To placate someone that thinks that position needs filling. Then they can say we've had the job posted for months. No one wants to work anymore. They just want to ensure they're experts in alcoholism. Okay, why are we not rioting again? Name them. Even at a 40-hour week, that pay is barely entry level. If they're looking for 5 days, 13-hour days, it's criminal. I have no problem with them posting such laughable nonsense. I have a problem when they cry that nobody applied and everyone is so lazy. Apply anyways and when it comes to salary say you thought that was monthly. Our company created a bunch of new HR related positions and none of them pay shit. I theorized they're creating them to be able to say they have a wellness force but really they don't take it seriously. It's just a way to say see all these people we have dedicated to making this a better place to work. If it is any consolation, I have three degrees, two certificates, and make about $55,000. My hours aren't quite that long but close. Wages just stink all around in my opinion. Wages have absolutely not kept up with inflation. Yeah, a similar situation is what drove my wife to get a job at the Lowe's RDC I was working maintenance at years ago. After five years of working as a mental health therapist with a bachelor's in psych, she was making less than they started their forklift operators. Currently, they are paying around 41k per year. The manufacturing plant I work at as an electrician currently pays their machine operators around 56k a year. Salaries are ridiculously unbalanced. Tell them to add two, maybe three more zeros, then call me. Until then they can kindly fuck right off. A corporate wellness specialist who works 80 hours a week for 37k is a contradiction in terms. Guarantee that HR is like it's so hard to find talent. People don't want to work anymore. I have a question does anyone do a counter offer if they apply to jobs with shit pay? Like when they go in for an interview, the part where the interviewer s is supposed to ask if the applicant has any questions. Ask if the pay is fixed or negotiated before signing anything? I feel like this is one of those situations where they already have an internal candidate but need to post the position anyway for legal HR reasons. The lowest salary for someone on our wellness team at my company is almost $60,000. And none of them starts their day at 4.30 a.m. and ends it at 6.00 p.m. This is one of the many many reasons I fucking hate, deeply fucking hate corporations. As corporate wellness specialist my first order of business is to change my schedule to 9-5 for the sake of my own wellness. I worked in corporate wellness for a hospital in 1993-95. Ex sci degree, 5 month internship experience on site, certifications. They paid $8.75 an hour. I quit when I walked by the job board and saw that they were looking to hire cafeteria service for $11. And yes, the hours were shitty, but no what as in this example. I see not much has changed. My first job right out of college paid $33,500 a year, and they wanted 5 years experience and a bachelor's degree. Insane. I work at an ice cream shop and make more than that per hour. Absolutely insane. That's time to find contact info for a higher up person at that company and send them the job description with a note that it's an insult and the only person they will get at that pay with those qualifications is a liar who is so desperate for the job that they'll lie about it. I saw this TikTok that compared the average salary during the Great Depression to the equivalent today then I did it myself and honestly this is bad. There should be a browser plugin that points this out for you. 37k is equivalent to the average salary in 1929. I saw a job posted for a position at a community college that said master's degree preferred and starting pay was 32,000 I make more working retail lol. Post the link so we control these fuckers.